So what are the differences between Tai Chi and yoga? This is a common question I get from beginning students who come and say, should they learn Tai Chi? Or they're comparing with yoga and how does yoga fit in? Or they might come and say that uh, they have done some Qigong and how is Qigong different from Tai Chi? So to handle this question, I would say that there are lots of similarities and some differences. So this video is to compare and contrast, uh, not to make any judgments. I like both, all, all three systems, and there are unique differences between them. So it's for the layman who is just beginning his journey, what are some of the common things and what things are different? Well, number one, all yoga, qigong, tai chi, they are ancient systems and they are eastern systems. Notably, yoga is from the, from the east, from India, and Qigong and Tai Chi are systems from China. They are also gentle systems and they can be done indoor and of course outdoor. And uh, they are, they have breathing, they have something in common, they have breathing in common, about slow breathing, controlled breathing, conscious breathing. And there's also a mind training element whereby you quiet the mind, you focus, you stay present. These are some of the similarities from the systems. And so what are some of the differences? What are some of the contrasts that we have? Now, bear in mind, this is a layman's view. And uh, basically, yoga and qigong, they are comparatively stationary. Of course, there are movements, but relatively less movements compared to tai chi. So Tai Chi will have a lots of movement. Number two, there is symmetry generally in yoga and Qigong. That means what you do on the left, you do on the right. Perhaps sometimes simultaneously you do left and right. Now as a contrast, Tai Chi is asymmetry. What the right hand does something, the left hand does something else. The foot does not something, the leg does something, the left leg does something, the right leg does something else, and so on and so forth. You know, the position of the hands, one high, one low, one long, one short, they are asymmetry. And so what are the characteristics of the movement in Tai Chi? So the movements in Tai Chi are slow, they are continuous, and they are not jerky, they are generally um, continuous, even movements and they are pleasant to look at, they are graceful, and um, the characteristic is that they are like pulling silk from a cocoon, so that the energy flows smoothly, roundly, and so on. Next is that the concept of a martial art aspect. It emphasizes on sensing, yielding, and responding to forces. So while 90% of the people practice Tai Chi for good health, stress relief, uh, mind-body coordination, and so on and so forth. But still, there is an element where, where you can train uh, self-defense. Now, for all three systems, at the advanced stages or at the mastery stages, they all do amazing things with the physiology, with the body chemistry and body physiology. And that is to, to do with healing, illnesses like TB or like cancers, they have been known to heal uh, the practitioners. Lower blood pressures help Parkinson's disease and so on and so forth. Thanks for watching and leave your comments in the section below. If you like our channel, do subscribe.